If you're gonna make somebody a wooden gift for Christmas, why not make a wooden bow to go on the gift box? You can also use it as a wall hanging if you like. It's really easy to make, you just gotta make these wood ribbons. The trick is going to be making these strips as paper thin as possible. I've got a three quarter inch thick piece of stock oak. So to set it up, I'm just gonna pull my fence over and line it up as thin as possible. So this is the part that's gonna get cut. Once I have that locked in, I'm gonna bring a feather board over just to where it's touching the board and I can lock that down. And for each strip, all I need to do is move my fence over to where the board touches the feather board. And that gives me some very thin strips of wood. Now I just need to repeat that a bunch of times. I've got some quarter inch thick oak too that I could use. I use oak because it bends really easily. So I got all my strips laid out here and I'm gonna glue them together I think in a couple different sections. Just a dab of glue on the ends of each one. I'm gonna do one loop and then I'll do its opposite loop. It looks like about four is the most I think I can handle at one time. So I'll just clamp these all together. While this is drying, I'm kind of playing around with these other strips and trying to figure out what my next step is going to be. This is one of those projects that I just don't know how it's going to turn out. I wish I had a TARDIS and then I could just jump into the future a little bit and find out. I could fast forward a little bit. That's what I need to do. It's been a couple hours. Let's see how this looks. So far, so good. This time, instead of looping straight over, I'm gonna give it a twist. While that one's drying, I'm gonna see if I can do these little ones the same way. I'll let these dry overnight. We'll see how they help together. These long ribbons are gonna go on the back and I think I'm just gonna hot glue those on. I painted this little wooden disc red and I'm hot gluing it on to the middle. I ran some tests with some paint to see what that would look like but in the end, I think I'm just gonna spray lacquer it. Pretty good, but I think I'm gonna cut this tail down a little bit. I'm attaching some Velcro to the back. So this will make an interesting alternative to a wreath on my front door. And of course it would look great on a Christmas present. A big Christmas present, I suppose. Maybe one of those, like in the commercials, you know where they always put the big red bow on a car? You know, give somebody a car for Christmas and Make a bow and save some money. <laughs> or make them a car. Make a wooden car. And as always, thank you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you're new to the show, you should be aware that I post new videos every Friday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and you won't miss a thing. And of course, now is the time to start making holiday gifts. There's only a few weeks left until Christmas, you know. If you're stumped for ideas, I've assembled a playlist over here of holiday gift ideas that should be a good place to get started. If you'd like to support the show, please do so over on subbable.com and don't forget, I've got Woodworking for Mere Mortal t-shirts and other stuff. Great gift ideas, if you're not gonna make a wooden bow, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>